one thing, one thing only that you need to make the best pork ribs. Toothpick. I'm gonna tell you right here, this is how it makes pork ribs. We're gonna trim them. Right here, you got some excess stuff. We're just rounding them out. We just want them to look nice. Cut off a little bit of this little bone right here. This is like a good snack right here. You can make use this to make sausage. It's got a little hunk of meat. We're just gonna take this off. There you go, got a little piece of meat there. Then everybody talks about, do you take the membrane off? It does not matter at all. All you need is some good pulp rub. Oops, lost my toothpick. Gotta put it back in the mouth. And that's not salmonella, but that's something. Go ahead. <laughs> so is it like the pork butt? You just hammer away? Yes, you do. Put on the bottom, just do a little bit, you know, cause it's gonna fall off. It's not like you're gonna be eating the bottom of the bone. It don't really matter. Then we're gonna flip these over. You're just gonna make it rain. <laughs> Keep it going, 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 keep it going. And we're just gonna keep it going. That's how much seasoning you put on there. So how does it stick without the mustard? Ah oh, man, that's all make-believe. Hey CJ, can you do me a favor? What you got, bro? You know that milk scale up, bro? That Ferrari, a Ferrari of smokers. We're literally just gonna throw them on. So how long has it been? So we've been about 250, 275 for about two, two and a half hours. Minutes? Yeah, minutes. Let's see how these look. Ooh, nice. Easy. See, it doesn't matter how much seasoning you put on it. It doesn't matter how much smoke you put on it. They're pork ribs. You just gotta put love in it. And toothpick, keep your toothpick on. All right, so we're about two and a half hours in. We're gonna wrap in some foil, and we're gonna put some honey on it, and we're gonna throw them back on. So let's get that going. Coming in hot, coming in hot. You're gonna throw them upside down on this honey. And we're just gonna wrap them up nice and tight. And now it is time to put them back on the smoker and we're gonna crank the heat up. Put the bones face down and we're gonna crank it up to 275 to 285 for another two and a half hours. So how long, it's, how long it been now? So we're about hour number five right now. They've been wrapped in full for about two hours. Uh, my toothpick, yeah about, about two and a half hours have been wrapped. Minutes. All right, two and a half minutes. Like, let's be honest. But I think those ribs are done. Let's go take them out. All right. See? Yeah. Bet you those look good under there. Yeah, all that foil. People always ask, how do you know when it's done? Let me show you. When it bounces like that, you see that bounce? Like hydros? Like 64 Impala? Real flaccid. <laughs> They're done. Look at that. Mm. So I'm be honest with you guys. Only badasses can cut the ribs. Up top, I can't. And this is a Zavala's pork rib. And we like it to be sweet. Mm. So you want to learn? You want to learn how to make pork ribs? What is the key? Toothpick. Put a toothpick, you can't screw them up. This is how they come out when you use the Vols barbecue rub, the mill scale, and some honey and foil. And shout out to Grizzly Grade for the awesome cutting board. Appreciate it, brother. If y'all want, follow them on Grizzly Grade on Instagram. Holla. Ooh.